Hi, my name is Eric, and I'm an electrical contractor. And I'm Dana, Eric's ex-wife, and I'm a hairstylist. Our son Justin is a great guy. He's the leader of the pack. He's fun to be around. He's always got everybody laughing, and we just love having him around. We love to hang out. We have a lot of fun together. He's a bit of a mama's boy, and I love that. There's just one thing wrong here. My son's girlfriend, she's a snob, and she's too cool for school. Meet Justin and his girlfriend, Devin. They've been dating for over a year and are always together, which really bugs Justin's mom and dad. His parents are sick of Devin. Nice Wipe that stupid smirk off your face. So they're each picking a new girl for Justin to go out with. Wow. Then they'll all sit down and watch the dates together. It's one of the most basic poses in yoga. Oh my god, Justin, what are you doing? They're keeping it real. You sound like a idiot. And when it's over, Justin will either choose to stick with his girlfriend or ditch her for one of the new girls. It's all about to go down on parental control. What's up? I'm Justin. My girlfriend's name is Devin. We've been dating for a little over a year now. She's really hot. She's funny. She uh, makes me really happy. I think Devin's in big trouble. Devin takes forever to get ready. I don't know her entire process, but it can be two hours and longer. Everything she does is about image. It usually takes me like two and a half, three hours to get ready in the morning. No, please, just give me up. <laughs> no. Please. I'm not done yet. She says like all the time. Oh my God, like, I can't believe you really bought that. Oh my God, I can't believe it's like so cool. I don't think she really has a good vocabulary. It's embarrassing if you can't speak at least halfway proper English. I don't think I could ever stop using the word like. I think it's an amazing word. It's my favorite word ever. For like my birthday, like, 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 like. That was like mean. Devin is a label whore. Devin is so materialistic. It's all clothing labels. That's all she's all about. And that's as deep as it goes. I think it makes her feel smarter, too, because she's not that bright. And I think when she has all this nice, expensive clothing, she feels like she's somebody. On average, in a week, I usually spend about $1,000 on clothes. Like yesterday, I bought two bikinis, and it was about $300. Having Devin around affects her family because there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of fighting, and so it's like everyone's on eggshells. She just kind of takes him out of the whole family environment. And we'll probably see less and less of him, which makes me really sad. He needs to move on. Now it's time for mom and dad to meet the potential blind dates for Justin. There she comes. Oh, she's a tall glass of water. Hi. I'm Megan. My name's Polly. Are you my day? I'm Eric. I'm, oh, I'm the dad, but oh, nice. Hi. Nice start. <laughs> I have a seat right there. <laughs> you can sit over uh, there on that chair over there. Oh, OK, sure. On the bar. All righty. Next one over. Okay, there we go. There we go. Awesome. So what do you do for a living? I'm a hostess at a restaurant. I work retail at a mall. I'm a singer-songwriter. Really? Private tutor. Film student. Barista. I'm a makeup artist. I'm a dancer. I just do a lot of, let's say, rolling. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's very flexible. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. So our son is really intelligent. Can you prove to us that you're smart and, like, drop some knowledge on us? OK. Do you know that the speed of light is constant? And it measures 3 times 10 to the power of the 8th meters per second. Wow. OK. <laughs> Most people believe that penguins are found at the North Pole, when really, they only belong at the South Pole. OK. The ladybugs, only men have spots. Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> OK. Good. Avatar is now the highest grossing movie. The cheetah is the fastest land animal. Bacon stays in your stomach longer than gum does. If you go to a jazz festival, you'll find at least a few thousand old people. Old people? Yeah. Because old people like jazz? Yeah. Our son likes cheerleaders. So we'd like you to stand over there and do a cheer right now on why we should pick you. OK. <laughs> Today is the day I will take and sweep your son away. That was uh, uh, quite that was basic. Like, I'm not really a cheerleader. <laughs> really? Let's go. 
Ooh, got some rhythm going. Your son and I would be so cute, so very cute to boot. <laughs> My name's Desiree. I'm the best one here. Go so pick me, so have no fear. Oh, wow. Pick me. Pick me. You should pick me, because I want to date you. Wait, you want to date us, or you want to date our son? Um, In your opinion, what makes a kiss good? Well, I don't know if I need to go into de <laughs> details about it. So we need to know these things. You have to really like like the person. Anticipation. Chemistry. If it's just like not, you know. Um... We'll come back to that one. Okay. <laughs> Depends on where you're being kissed. Really? Where do you like to be kissed? Mm, definitely the way they do it in France. I like when they grab my face. Really? Making out with me. Like the first time, let's right first away. First time, yeah, right away. All right, <laughs> right <okay>. then. <laughs> Fresh breath. I, I was thinking the same thing. I'm gonna write that down. Why should we pick you to date our son? I'm really sweet. I'm really laid back. Because I'm honest, I'm genuine, I'll be a good change in your son's dating way. I love to go to concerts and just be wild. I'm caring, outgoing, and really genuine. I will be a good addition to whatever you guys got going. I'm not a very high maintenance girl. I'm really good at back massages. Very soft. Let's see who we're gonna pick. There's that one. She scared me. That one? Yeah, I liked her. I really liked her. For sure. That's who you want? Yeah. That's the one I want right there. Okay. All so right. So that's good. Cool. Good. I think we're done. Oh. My parents and my girlfriend Devin don't get along. They never have. But today I'm going on two dates with two other girls. So the first girl should be here any second. Just please let it go well. This is ridiculous. Like, why should I let my boyfriend go on dates with other girls when we're dating? We're supposed to be in love and you're just... I mean, we are in love. You're saying we're supposed to. We are in love. Okay, well, you're gonna pick me, right? Because, I mean, like, if you don't, I'm gonna rip your dick off. Like, I'm serious. Like, I'm well, not... Then, like, no, definitely, then there's no question about it. You'll never have sex ever again, so might as well pick me. That's so, like, a great, great sound. Melinda! So good to What's see you. I chose Melinda. She seems like she is really confident and comfortable with who she is, and I think they're gonna have a great, great time together. Justin, this is Melinda. How nice you doing? to meet you. And this is Devin. What's up, girl? This is Melinda. Yeah. My mom made a good choice picking Melinda because she knows I like brunettes, and she's got a rocking body, so Devin definitely has some competition with this girl right here. I'm sorry about your hair. I think Justin's mom chose Melinda because they're both very similar. They look alike, they both have horrible hair, and they're both whores. Are you ready? Yes. All right, let's go do this. Fun. Bye. I love painting and art, so I thought I'd take Justin painting for a fun, creative date. I liked her already. I did too. She's yeah, so, me too. She's so out of your She's so cute. Stoked? I'm stoked. Look at her hair. I think she's really cute. What the hell do you know about hair, Eric? You don't have any. I always like to paint what I really like. Mm -hmm. So today I thought I could paint you. Wow. And um, you could paint me. That sounds like a deal. Oh, look it. She's drawing a picture of him. You would probably be drawing a picture of yourself. Probably because I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be blending colors and stuff? Yeah, like, if you add white to anything, it makes it a lighter tint. Or black, darker. Oh, wow, I didn't know that white makes things lighter and black makes things darker. She's a real scientician. The what? She's a regular scientician. What, and what is that? It means that you're a professional at something. <laughs> well. A tuition. <laughs> Did you make me look attractive? Um, as best, <laughs> as best as I can. <laughs> I saw it through the other side. She has a very cute laugh. Yeah, for a hyena. <laughs> I'm trying to make the snowboard le look less penisy. Less what? Penisy. What the? F what is that even a word? Penisy. Sounds cute coming from her, not from you. And by the way, his penis is not that big. It's actually kind of small. <laughs> I must get that from you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
It is finished. I like your accent. <laughs> She's weird. She sounds like a three-year-old. You could take your shoes off of the couch anytime. Yeah, that's okay. I'd rather not. Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't. On the count of three. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Three. Wow. Yours is kick-ass. Is she looking at the same painting I am? It kind of looks like Marilyn Manson or Heath Ledger. Oh, that's not nice. Too soon? So, uh, are you hungry? Want to get a bite to eat? I'm starving. Let's do that. Look, she took him to hell. This is hilarious. I can't take her much longer. Probably because I'm so awesome. <sighs> so, what else do you like to do? Um, I love yoga. <laughs> she loves yoga? I didn't even see Star Wars, and I know yoga's ugly. Perfect. Keep talking. Yoga is just your way to center your body and relax. And that is so deep. She's just amazing. You got any positions you can show me? Yeah, sure. Um, one of my favorite ones is an energizing pose. It's called upward dog. It's one of the most basic poses in yoga. Pull through. Wow, somebody wants a Oh, man. Let me see you do it. OK. Let me see your best shot. Let's see. Work it. Down, hips down. Yep, upward dog. Like that? This is a good position to uh, check out your butt. Oh my god, Justin, what are you doing? They're keeping it real. <laughs> are they keeping it real? Yeah. They're keeping it real. You sound like a <laughs> idiot. How long have you been doing that? Um, a couple of years. Oh my god, it's so hot. The fire. Oh, I just have to get this jacket off so you can look at my boobs. <gasps> or lack of boobs, I should say. Check this out. <gasps> we have two. This is the eggplant tapenade. And albacore tuna with Cape Rayoli. Ooh, Wonderful. and his ear toast. Oh, he loves eggplant. No, he doesn't. He loves tuna, though. Yes, he does. Well, Justin, I hope you had a good time. I had an awesome time. Thank you. It was nice. I want to get you back to your parents so I can still make a good impression. What the f was that? Was that supposed to be cute? Yes, that was very cute. Uh, I'm bored. Your feet are still on her couch. Good. It's an ugly couch anyway. So the girl my dad picked is about to show up to the house right now. Me and my dad both have the same interest in women. I'm hoping she's cool, I'm hoping she's funny, but I know she'll be hot, so I'm not worried about that. Hey, babe. Hmm? Are you going to be good today? I'll be fine. So are you going to, like, touch her? I don't know. I, I, it's a date. I don't know. Like, an arm around her? I'm not going to, like, have sex with them on TV. On TV, so off screen you will? <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> no, I hate you. Hey. Hello, how are you? Hey, Come hi. in. It's great to see you. I picked Holly because she's real nice and, and genuine, and he'll like her because she's cute and she just seems like a really sweet, sweet person. This is. I'm Justin. Nice Justin. to meet you. I'm Holly. Nice to meet you. I just met Holly. She has a smoking body. I'm so happy with the choice. She was wearing boots, too, and I love girls in boots. <laughs> this Hi. is Devin. Devin. Yeah. The Hi, color, Devin. The big D. My first impression of Holly was kind of girls gone wild Barbie doll, and I don't see how Justin could like that. You ready? I'm ready. Awesome. Go get him, Tiger. Come on. The door. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we don't want you over there. Have a great time. Have a horrible time. The date I'm gonna take Justin on today is a helicopter ride over Los Angeles. I've never done it before and I'm excited to see how it goes. I think he's into her. Don't you? I don't. You don't think he's into her? No, I she's think ugly. They made a really cute couple too. I think he might even kiss her. Ew, what? You're gross. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Awesome. How you doing? Hi, how are you? So this is the guy. Yes, yes, this is Justin. Justin. Robin. Nice to meet you. You guys ready to do this thing? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Oh, all right. That was a nice girly noise. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. This is so cool. We are so much cooler than all those people. Don't you really are. And it's good to you, too, because you make me feel cool doing this stuff. <laughs> Does she have baby oil on her face? She looks like a cheese pizza. I think her makeup looks outstanding. No, that's how poor people do makeup. There's a Playboy Mansion. Yeah. Right down there. What? 
All right, Playboy Mansion. You can see it all. Yeah, I'm sure she knows where that is. You probably know where no, too, No, huh? just, no, just shut up. No one wants to hear you talk. No one wants to hear you talk. Good comeback. This is awesome. Do you surf at all? I've never attempted. I think the snowboard is now. Yeah, I love snowboarding. Yeah. That guy has three passes left. Just go. God, I'd love to go. It's awesome. She's like trying to be cute, but it's so not working. Do you have anything nice to say about anybody? No, she doesn't. Aren't you guys glad I'll never do anything like this? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I like this. It's, uh, probably the best date of my life. The you know? best date of my life. Did you hear that? The end is near. Did I hear someone talking? Hmm. What do you say we jump in the G rated by high club? <laughs> okay. How good are you? Awesome. I got a little toast. They kiss! Ooh, in your face! Ooh, yeah! That, see that? That is what I like to see. I'm so gonna punch him in the balls when he gets back. You guys aren't gonna have grandkids. I'm a little curious on how Elaine's gonna feel in a helicopter. Oh my gosh, I know. Oh, look at that. You don't even feel a thing. You didn't I feel know. a thing. That was nice. Time to bring you back. Right but on. I had a bunch of fun on the I had a ton of fun too. Thank you very much. I had a ton of fun too. I did too. Shut up. We you guys weren't even there. There was four of us that had a ton of fun on that day. Yeah, it was fun. And one that didn't have so much fun. Shut up. The dates are done, um, and it's getting close to decision time. Uh, I really have no idea who I'm going to choose. Hopefully everything winds up, you know, for the best. Today was the first time that I kind of actually saw that maybe there's other people out there. Kind of makes my decision a lot tougher now, but you got to do it, so. I don't think that Justin won't choose me because I love him to death and he loves me and I'm the best girlfriend he's ever had. I'm really nervous about Justin's decision because if he stays with Devin, it's just the same old road that's getting really old and he can make a change for the better. If Justin stays with Devin, I just think he's gonna miss out on a lot of fun opportunities because she's very smothering. So right now it's time for me to say goodbye to one of you. Melinda. You're very funny, you're easy to talk to, and you seem very caring. But you're a little weird for me. So I'm sorry, but I have to say goodbye to you. Bye, whatever. You can suck it. Bussy. I think Justin didn't choose me, because he's too boring. Maybe I'll find a guy that actually respects my weirdness. So now it's time for me to decide between you two. Holly, a lot of fun with you on our date. The helicopter ride was awesome. You're an amazing girl and you're super easy to talk to. But there were some times where I felt like we weren't completely connected and that bothers me. Devin, you're a beautiful girl and we've been dating for a long time and you always know how to make me smile. But lately we have been fighting a lot and I can kind of see where my parents are coming from. This has been really difficult for me and I've thought about it a lot, but I have finally decided who I'm gonna pick. And the girl I choose is... Holly. What the Devin, yes. I'm really sorry. Yes. Oh, you're yeah. Yes, Holly! Love it! Oh, that's great. Oh, oh, we're happy. There's absolutely no chance that I will get back together with Justin. I realized how much of a he is, and he didn't have a big anyway. Was that horrible? Okay. I was a little surprised at how nervous I was when he said, and my, I pick, I, I, and then when he picked her, I was so happy. I was so sure he was gonna pick Devin, really. I was, yeah, but I'm so glad he didn't. Tell me what's next for both of you. I think we're both gonna go skydiving next. Skydiving? Yeah. I guess we're going skydiving. It's a little extreme. Yeah, but you gotta mm. try new things. Yeah. I've never done that before. Never even thought about it. I guess now we're jumping out of it, so. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs>